I am so happy that I chose D3. My coaches and my teammates are
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Bream Gymnasium on the campus of Gettysburg College. We have Centennial Conference men's basketball for you today. We've got the Gettysburg College Bullets facing off against the McDaniel College Green Terror. Gettysburg's coming into today 4-17 and 17 overall, 3-11 and 11 in conference. McDaniel 6 and 15 overall, 12, 2 and 12, excuse me, in conference. We've got a little bit of a shakeup in the starting lineups today. For the Bullets, starting at the one guard, you have a 5'11 guard junior, Danny Duffy. And then he's joined in the backcourt by Alec Warren and Andrew Gardner. The forwards today will be Nick Antolini and Evan Zulata. For the Green Terror, we have Aaron Washington, a 6'4 guard from D.C. He's going to be joined by Caleb Johnson, D.J. Harper, Braden Caldwell, and Greg Scarborough. Gettysburg coached by B.J. Dunn in his first season here, assisted by Mike McSloy and Dan Haddon. For the Green Terror, you have Kevin Curley in his 12th season with the team. He's assisted by Jimmy Egan and Ryan Germano. This is Ryan Ahern alongside James Mullen. James, what do you expect today? I actually think this is going to be a really competitive, close game. I mean, mo both teams coming in with low records. Gaysburg coming in 4-17 and overall, 3-11 and 11 in the Centennial, whereas McDaniel coming in with 6-15 six and 15 overall, 2-12 and 12 overall in the Centennial. I think this is actually going to be a real competitive game. Kids are going to come out with fire. This is kind of a bragging rights game right here. Gettysburg went to McDaniel, winning that game 60-56. to 56. I think McDaniel wants to come in here, you know, even though they're both kind of fighting for the bottom of the barrel at this point, I think McDaniel wants to come here and show, you know, they belong here. They're just as good as Gettysburg. And, of course, neither team wants to finish with the worst record in the Centennial. Thank you there, James. What do you have to think about both teams really shifting around their lineups, especially with the Bullets not starting Avery Close, who started a majority of their games, actually every single game so far coming into today? I think both coaches are trying to find something that works at this point. Right now, coaches are going to reward hustle. They're going to reward spirit. And I think, you know, this is kind of a lineup. Not that Avery Close hasn't brought that so far, but, you know, I think they want to see what can Zulada do. He's kind of an effort big. I think they're just going to switch around see if they can get some of the work. I think Close is still going to get a ton of minutes today. I just think they want to roll out a different lineup. All right, we're about to get things underway here in Bream. Zulada is going to be taking the tip for the Bullets and Johnson for the Green Terror. And the Green Terror win it. Braden Caldwell is going to be doing the one. Well, it's coming out in man. Passing it around now, the Green Terror. Early intensity from the Bullets defense. Johnson on it again. Washington's going to pull a three and knocks it down to start things off. We were watching Washington in warm-ups. He was dunking so hard he almost broke one of the hoops down on the other side. Looks like he's going to be a complete player after pulling up from deep there. Bullets high intensity on offense as well, giving the ball to Duffy now. Scrum intensity on defense there from Johnson. Gardner thought about three, he's going to give it down low to Zulata. Hook off the glass, done. Trying to reward Coach Dunn for the start today. Good job there by Zulata. Nice high finish off the glass. Something I want to watch out here McDaniel was practicing a lot of away screens, a lot of flare screens during. Warm-ups, I think they're going to try and utilize a lot, that a lot today during the game. Yep, now Johnson once again gives it up to Washington. Thought about it tightly guarded there by Gardner. Scarborough with eight on the shot clock, clean. Both got to win that loose ball. As and Antolini will take it away. Antolini in transition now, nice job to save the ball. Duffy's going to drive, give it up a little height, keeps his dribble going down. Nice pass to Gardner, who can't finish. Rebound goes to Johnson. Great job there by Duffy, though, staying the, or keeping his dribble alive. Washington's going to drive on Gardner, step back. Bouncing, can't get the shooter to roll. Offensive foul there on Caldwell. Well, it's got to take advantage of good opportunity there. Andrew Gardner has a very good floater game. He's got to finish that coming down the coming down the paint. Warren, the three-point special, giving it off. Long bounce pass from Antolini. Antolini has it in the corner, who pulls a three, and he knocks it down. Can't let him get that open. Even though Antolini really hasn't been lighting up the scoreboards recently, he's still going to take opportunity, or advantage of that opportunity every time. Yeah, good to see him hit a three there. He's just shooting 21% from deep on the season, but we know he can do better than that. Oh, 
Washington's going to pull another three. Can't get it. Bouncing around. Rebound goes to Harper. Anthony had good position there. He's got to hit a, uh, McDaniel with a body, though. You know, get the box out before the rebound. Ball from Caldwell off the feet is Zulata. Got to stay with McDaniel. Harper gets it in down low there to Johnson. Working. Great Good defense, defense by Zulata. Foot and picked. Duffy's going to push and give it to Warren. Thought about three steps left. Pulls it. And off the front of the rim. Good rebound, Zulata. Looking for a teammate. Throws it away. Yeah, he was falling out of bounds. Just kind of wish that one back in. McDaniel's right there, though. That's what you want to see from Zulata, though. Establishing himself in the paint as Duffy picks the pocket but can't control it. Yeah, almost a nice move there by Caldwell. Intercepted. This is what you see, though. Both teams really fighting early on, going for loose balls, getting offensive rebounds. They, you know, they both know that, you know, they haven't had the season they wanted, but they know they're kind of on par with each other and they can fight and win a game here. Back up to Caldwell, Washington with a now leading scorer for McDaniel. Six on the shot clock. Step back. Gives it to the corner. Harper only three, only three on the shot seconds, clock. Now. Yeah. Pulls it. Caldwell. Buzzer beater. Maybe he does. Uh, yeah, you'd like to see a, a more contested shot there for the Bullets. I mean, they have played such a great defensive possession to uh, get a wide open three is kind of unfortunate. Got to finish possessions. Warren wanted a wide open three there. Good closeout. Back up to Warren, who pulls it deep. Step range off. That one's going to be off of Zulata, last touched. McDaniel ball. And again, that's what you want to see from Zulata, going after you know every rebound hard. And I think he's going to come off here, but I think Coach Dunn's going to congratulate him for the effort he's shown out there in the first couple minutes. Avery Close checks in now for the Bullets. They're going to fall back into 2-3 here. Caldwell giving it to Johnson again at the elbow. Back up top to Harper. Nice strong pass back in the call. Uh, Johnson, excuse me. Hook, short, rebound Antolini. Antolini almost serves as a big the way he goes up and gets rebounds. Corner three, Warren down. And that plays all Nick Antolini. Getting the rebounds, going full court, firing the pass to Warren who's wide open. McDaniel really wasn't ready for that. That's why I like to see Nick Anthony go rebound because he can just turn and go right up the court. Nice little pass down low. Kicks to the corner. Ooh, touch pass. Working Johnson again. Good defense from close. Caldwell up top. Washington, eight on the shot clock. Working the step back between the legs. Five now. Guarded by Warren. Pulls the deep three. Knocks it down. Aaron Washington. Kind of shakes his head at the Gaysburg bench a little bit and said, you got to play a little better defense on me. But that was... Pretty good defense, just a great shot. Yeah, he's averaging 15.3 a game, shooting 39.5% from deep. Close down low, off the glass. Back and forth game right now, uh, five minutes in. Well, it's good offense so far. Hit a couple threes, getting good mix of getting shots in the paint too. Scarborough can't get that one. Antolini gets the rebound and moves it in transition now. Down low, close, wide open. And that's why the, bu the Bullets know how to, you know, really push the ball. You know, that time kind of make a couple extra passes and stuff is going to open up. I like the pace they play with it, but the, sometimes I like to see that where they can make a couple extra passes, get a wide open layup. Defense really isn't, you know, getting back on time for McDaniel. Caldwell wide open. Pulls it, knocks it. You know, with the 2 3 zone, the two places you're going to probably get beat are three point shooting and offensive rebounding. So you hate to see McDaniel getting some easy shots like that. That might mean the zone's just not really working right now. Close work and dribbles it off his foot, keeps it. Picking up the dribble, looking He's for the He's got to go the ball. Hand off. Off the foot of Warren. McDaniel ball. Group substitution now. Baumberger and Rooney coming in for the Bullets. We've got Isaac Ray, Tony Tavares, 
And Josh Arruda checking in for the Green Terror. Arruda up top now. Washington back of the ball, guarded by Antolini. Good D so far. Driving left hand now, foul on the floor on Antolini, probably a hand check. Bullets have, uh, Bullets have done a really, you know, good job of making Washington's life a pretty tough out there. He's forced up a couple of deep threes that have gone in, but other than that, he's had to fight for everything. Good effort there by Baumberger. Bullets have numbers. A good job there by Gardner going high off the glass. Good touch. Caldwell coming up. Pass there is almost lost. Tavares working on close. Hand off Aruda. Elbow jumper. Off. Rebound again. Antolini. He's got a bunch of them now. Daniel's got to take advantage. They've had a couple wide open jumpers they've missed. Close going up. Floater down. Oh, Dirk style off the one leg there. Caldwell working on Rooney. Taking contact. Foul called on the floor. Yeah, Rooney's got to stay square to his player there. He kind of got turned. Wasn't able to recover. Josh Sproul and Mike Wallace checking in now. The corner now, Aruda back up to Tavares. A couple of bullet starters still in, haven't gotten a bench time yet. Tavares looking around. Hand off Ray. He's going to drive, go baseline, passing, trying to find someone. Antolini steals it. Bullets have played really good defense early in possession so far. Baumberger, nice pass to Close, who finishes. Really good transition offense all game, too, so far. First eight minutes have been a good, good start for the Bullets. Wallace, tight coverage there from Baumberger on Aruda. Up to Ray. Bullets defense staying strong again. Ray pulls a three, knocks it down. Just a half second slow on the rotation there. But that's good rotation there by McDaniel on the offensive end. You know, two pass rotation, get the ball moving. It's going to be tough for Gettysburg to get around. Foul call there on Tavares. Tavares is listed at six foot two. Guarded in the six foot six close. Close is going to check out. Zulata and Duffy are going to check in. Baumberger, Zulata up top. Antolini still in the whole game. Driving. Fouled. He's going to go to the line. I like when he goes downhill. You know, he can really get creative there. I actually thought he was going to get that one to fall off the glass. Usually he can. Antolini's good in the first. Fouls on Sproul. That's his first. Sprung, the freshman coming from Princess Anne, Maryland. Good on both Antolini. Takes the Bullets up to 20. A little bit of press now from the Bullets. This is good because Antolini has such a high wingspan, good athlete. It's great at the top of that press. That's what you got to do, force him to the sidelines. And a good first forced turnover there, getting Tavares to travel. Probably the best defensive effort we've seen to start a game for the Bullets. Four on four now. Duffy guarded by Ray. Antolini still hasn't come out of this game unless I'm mistaken. He's Duffy such a nice move. Almost a nice pass. Stolen, yeah. though. 
He just trying to do a little too much there, but great move there by Duffy. Tavares, nice move, going up, takes the contact, can't get the roll. Good rotation there by the Bullets to challenge the shot. Antolini pulls the second three, short on that. Teammates fighting over the rebound taken by Tavares. Aruda on Baumberger. Tavares thought about the three. He was knocking him down earlier. Nine on the shot clock now. Wallace driving on Duffy. Strong defense. Pass to Ray. Off the glass. But he's fouled. Fouls on Antolini. That's his second. Yeah, once again, just a, a half second slow in the rotations. Let a back cut happen. Kind of another bailout of a, a good defensive possession there for the Bullets. Looking at the roster here for the Green Terror, I don't see I see one player 6'8", and other than that, no one above 6'4". Also a very young team here on the Green Terror. Yeah, mostly freshmen. For both teams, that is. Bullets have a lot of sophomores. Ray cuts the lead to three. Rooney's going to take the ball, guarded by Wallace. Gets a screen. He's going to pull a long two off on that. Aruda trying to go coast to coast, picked up by Baumberger. Both teams kind of using a lot of subs so far within the first 10 minutes. Ray on the elbow. Sproul working on. Great Offense take there by Baumberger. That's what you like to see when guys come off your bench, take a charge, get a little dirty. Gaysburg playing really impressive defensive uh, game so far for a team that allows 78 points per game. Andrew Gardner is going to check back in for the Bullets. 9.32 to go in the first half. Bullets up 20-17. to 17. Rooney down low to Zulata foul in the back coming from Sam Beverly. This game's moving along pretty quickly. I don't believe we've had a timeout yet. We have not. Fourteen minutes away from tip. We got a ten and a half minutes of game in. And a travel right there by Warren. Yeah, he just kind of let his feet slide a little bit coming off that screen. I think he was just trying to get the pass in there to Zulata as quick as possible. Aaron Washington going to check back in. He's coming in for Aruda. Hand off to Harper there. Screen from Beverly. Washington takes it. Driving on Zulata. Nice almost roll. Rebound Duffy. Yeah, it really would have been an impressive finish. Bullets pushing it now. Hand off to Warren. Corner Gardner. Driving back to Duffy. Good ball movement. But good gang kind of defense there. And stolen. Wallace now. McDaniel has numbers. Harper finishes. Yeah, so One point of, game. Well, I'm just going to get handle the ball on the other end. McDaniel able to get out in transition. Good, uh, good fundamental transition there. Rooney. Warren step back down low to Zulata, stolen by Harper. They can take the lead with this one. Four on three. Beverly's going to drive. Rooney thought about taking the charge. Ray now picked and stolen. Rooney's in transition now. Bullets have numbers. He could give it off to Gardner. Stolen by Wallace. It's going to stay with the Bullets. Bullets really got a score there when you have a two on one. I think uh, Rooney got a little deep into the paint there. If he had stopped at about the foul line, bounce pass. Would have been an easy layup there for Gardner. And now we're going to get a Gettysburg timeout, the first of the game. We're going to have a quick message from our sponsors. For nearly four decades, Gettysburg College's Orange and Blue Club has provided annual support for Bullet Athletics. 
Every dollar of support to Orange and Blue provides our student athletes a positive, competitive experience and the tools and opportunities to reach their goals. Please visit Orange and Blue on the web at gaysburgsports.com to make your gift or for more information. Duffy looking to inbound, gives to Warren. Gardner guarded by Washington, hand off to Duffy. Down low to close, he's working earlier. Duffy, nice pivot, close, almost a nice finish. Close will have an advantage down there. Tallest player on the court so far today. They give it back to Aaron Washington, thought about pulling it. Push off, step back, three, misses everything. Washington uh, got a little, little crazy there, trying to get the three off. As Joey Talaka will check in. Bullets having a little inj or, uh, illness going around the team. Chris Jack and Matt Palacio out. Might go a little deeper in the bench, especially as the season goes on. Blocka only playing in seven games so far. Duffy driving, blocked by Wallace. Last touch by Wallace, gonna stay with the bullets. Duffy thought he got hit on the arm. They had to get this one in quick though. Get a shot off, nine on the shot clock. Probably have time to take it out and run a full play. Caldwell checks back in for the green terror. They're gonna try and go to Warren here off the double screen. Good tight defense from Harper. Gardner now five on the shot clock, down low to close, three, two, turn around, nothing. Rebound Wallace. Close has got a finish, though. He's going to be able to rise up over the McDaniel defenders all day, especially right now. Beverly just listed at 6-2. Driving Caldwell, taking contact, going to the line. We've been stuck at this 20-19 to for a little bit now. We'll see if Caldwell's going to break it. Caldwell off on the first. Danny Bomberger checks in for Alec Warren. Caldwell ties it up 20 20 with 6.59 to go. In the first, that is. Bullets getting into their set offense. Tight defense foul called on Washington. Washington, the leading scorer between both teams coming into today, coming from Montrose Christian High School. Gardner waves off Baumberger. Wants Talaka driving in. Gardner off the glass, gets his own rebound, maybe foul called. Believe it's on Washington. He's I'll, unhappy. I like the second effort there by Gardner. I think right away he realized that wasn't going in. Goes up back strong. Tries to fight for the rebound, unfortunately gets fouled though. Gonna get the fall. Gonna get the one on one here. I think that this type of game is good for both teams, you know. When you have a record as, as both these teams, you kinda gotta remember how to win these tight, close games and kinda goes down to coaching a little bit. It's gonna be good for the coaches to get back in this environment. Good on both. Gardner gives his team a two-point lead. McDaniel, I'm sure, looking for a little bit of a heating up from Aaron Washington. Hit a couple big shots early on. Caldwell, nice behind the back move. Gives it to Washington. Thought about it. Walked. Good call there. Just not really established. His pivot foot. 
kind of kept both feet moving through the move. And Nick Antolini checks back in for the Bullets. Oh, interesting offensive set here. Close up around the top. Ooh, nice hell, hands right there by Washington. I like that draw up there, though, from Coach Dunn. Kind of get all the action going on one side, let Antolini go back door on his man. Strong take by Washington, can't finish. Bullets have numbers, gives it to Antolini. He's going to give it to close off the glass. pass there. Just taps it right to him. I, I think that's where Antolini's at his best. Yeah, in transition, creating for his teammates, gliding down the floor. I like to see him get out in transition more, and that's why I like he pulls down the rebounds, just turns and goes. Just such a smooth athlete. Beverly finishes. Beverly, a thick body, just kind of forced his way into the paint. Good, strong finish. To Laka, to Antolini. Gets a screen, a little bit of congestion there. Gardner pulls a deep one, and he oh. hits it. From Steph range. Harper to inbound. Up top there to Johnson. Haven't seen him in a little while. Washington's out again. Ten on the shot clock now for the Green Terror. Ray's going to drive with the left hand. Kick it to Caldwell. Another Five. late. Down low to Beverly. They got to get a shirt off now. One on the shot clock. He does. Can't hit it. Another Rebound brought down by the Bullets. Another great defensive possession there for the Bullets. Forcing them late into the shot clock, firing up a shot. And a nice floater there by Gardner. He's got nine. Yeah, really kind of taking over a little bit. Great little move to the paint there, and then a deep three of the possession before. And a timeout called by the Green Terror. We're going to have another message from our sponsors, and then we will return. Wallspan Sports Medicine is proud to be the official healthcare and sports medicine provider of the Gaysburg College athletic teams, helping them to stay in the game. And they can do the same for you because at Wellspan Health, our goal is to help you reach your health goals on and off the field. Wishing all Gaysburg College Bullets student athletes a successful sports season. Learn more at Wellspan Sports Medicine at wellspan.org backslash sports medicine. Down low now. Johnson working on Lancaster. Can't hit it. Another rebound by Antolini. Surveying the court. He brings it up under four now. Baumberger's going to be guarded by Harper. Greg Scarborough is back in for the Green Terror. Lancaster around. Loses the ball there on the transition. Now Caldwell going up. Nice little hesitation to get the finish. Five-point game. Gardner looks over to Coach Dunn, calling out the play. Baumberger has it. Lancaster doing a lot of work up around the three-point line. Antolini thought about it. He's going to drive in, goes up, blocked. Block coming from Scarborough. Corner three, Gardner, 12 now. Braden Caldwell looking to drive. 
Bullets back in there, you know, man defense. Nice spin, Johnson finishes. Gardner waving off his teammates. Step back, three. Hits again, 15, heating up here. Driving, Caldwell to answer. Has to pick up his dribble, stolen by the Bullets. Lancaster looking up. Gardner kicks it. Warren pulls the deep three. Can't hit it, but he does. Shooters roll. Bullets on right now. Timeout, McDaniel. We'll be right back. Let's uh, see here. Bullets. Run through their offense. Antolini moving it. We got a little uh, break in the action, actually. We're going to go back. <laughs> going to go back. Uh, going to have to have a little talk with my team about that one. <laughs> Two sixteen to go in the first half. Bullets just made a little run to make it an eight-point game, 38-26. Andrew Gardner hitting some deep threes. He has 15 points. Bullets pressing once again. Harper trying to break it. Gets across half court, trapped. Caldwell down low. Johnson finishes. It's on the opposite side. They got to get back when they're you know, on the opposite back side of the zone. You got to protect the rim. Pass tipped off of Scarborough. Stays with the Bullets. Gardner probably his best game in the Bullets uniform so far. Corner three, Baumberger hits it. The Bullets are hot. Andrew Gardner kind of creating everything on offense right now for the Bullets. Great assist there, slash into the rim. We'll go along with his 15 points, 3-3 three three from the 3. Harper, back to Ray. Stolen by Antolini. This is where he's at his best. And he's tripped up there by Scarborough. Falls down hard. His teammates check on him. And Scarborough is going to go back to the bench. Tavares is going to check in for him. In comes Zulata for you in Lancaster. Bullets stretch this one to a 13 point lead. Can add to it here with Antolini at the line. Good on the first. I, I kind of like the two man game of Gardner and Antolini right now. You know, both are great with the ball in their hands, but can also shoot off the catch, you know, create for their teammates. They're not just kind of head down scores. And Antolini hits both. He's clean at the line today, four for four. Oh, Antolini almost got the steal on the gamble. Would have been a nice little slam on the other end for Nick Antolini if he had gotten it. 108 to go in the first. Braden Caldwell driving, loses the ball. Off of him, Bullets ball. Bullets win this game on, you know, with defense and Andrew Gardner's right hand right now. I mean, he is on fire. Bullets playing great defense. This is the best they've looked in a while. And Avery Close checks back in. He has 10. Wouldn't be surprised if McDaniel's going to throw some good pressure here at Gardner. Antolini looking around for some of his teammates. Baumberger making a quick run. Antolini's going to just drive instead. Floater off the glass. Nothing. Strong rebound by Johnson. That was great defense there by McDaniel. Maybe their defensive position. Dram jamming Isaac cutters. Ray, three. Knocks it down. 
Ray made that one look pretty, pretty convincing from the minute he shot it. Bomber Foul there. will be headed to the line. This looks like it's going to be two shots. Misses that one, rebound to Johnson. Shot and game clock basically synced up. Braden Caldwell's going to hold it, try to get the last shot. Calling ISO 2. Caldwell's going to be working a little bit on this one. It's going to be guarded by Warren. Gets a screen from Ray. Moving around four on the shot clock. Foul called on Gardner. He Gardner, doesn't like it. Great defense. Probably just had his left hand low. I don't think it was actual contact, but really good defense there. Just if he gets, keeps that hand up, it's no foul. Not the worst foul in the world, though, because they're not going to go to the line. Now McDaniel has to redraw things up with 3.3. And they're going to sub in Aaron Washington. I expect to see a shot from him. He's stacked up on Tavares here. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. That's probably where the ball's going. And he turns around. They give it down low to Tavares, who finishes. Great, great offense there. I mean, that's a textbook, out of bounds play. Good action going both ways. Kind of roll back to the rim, easy layup. So they have a cut there, right there, to get a 10 point lead now. But the Bullets had a quick run. Up 10, 43, 33. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. Centennial Conference is about balance. We want the students to become the best they can be in the classroom, the best they can be in their athletic pursuits, and our colleges do everything we can to enhance that. You're going to feel the exact same things that you will feel as a Division I or a Division II athlete in the Centennial Conference. You're going to feel the heart racing. Your teammates are going to be cheering you on. You're going to be in that huddle firing each other up, getting ready for the opening tip or the first kickoff. All of this is what we look for and we hope that our students get to achieve in the conference. When you look at the rivalries in our conference and these schools have competed against each other for over a century. To be able to turn them over to talented faculty and talented coaches to bring out what we all know is there, that athletic ability, that ability to achieve in the classroom, the ability to achieve in the lab. The community that we build within the Centennial Conference is truly special. We have 11 schools that are competing in everything they do. They're competing for the best faculty, they're competing for the best students, they're putting together the best facilities. There are 43 conferences and I feel the Centennial Conference is at the top of Division three. One, two, three. In the field of competition, you're going to be a starter. You're going to be a key reserve. You may be an all-conference player. You may be an all-American player. In the classroom, you are going to achieve great things. You could be on the dean's list. You could receive a departmental award. You could receive the college's highest prize when all is said and done. It's the ability to provide that kind of balance to allow a student to achieve in both ends, which makes the Centennial Conference remarkable. I, uh, as mentioned, graduated a long time ago, 2006. Doesn't seem that long. I remember um, unloading my, my, um, my belongings at Paul Hall and hauling it up the three flights of stairs to the third floor. 
And I remember thinking at that time, my God, I may have made a very big mistake. But looking back on that moment now, I realized that that moment was the hinge of my life. It was that moment that, that everything after it swung upon. It gave me the opportunity to travel, to learn, to meet my wife, to reinvent myself. It allowed my passion to also be my profession, which is what brought me here to you today. And I hope this moment for you, even if you don't realize it yet, I hope this moment for you is your hinge. Uh, you'll notice when you make your way back to campus tonight, the words, quote, do great work. You'll see it on the campus, you'll see it in Servo, and in countless other places. Do great work, and yet nowhere is it defined. Like Lincoln's great task, do great work is left for you to interpret and define. But I want to take this opportunity to remind you that your work doesn't end when you leave the classroom that it takes work to live greatly, to take from the next four years every opportunity you can. Wherever you go at Gettysburg, whatever you do, you're surrounded by history. By going to school here, you become, even if only in a small way, a part of that history. And you're afforded the opportunity to contribute to it to write your story in the same book as Abraham Lincoln's, and that's a history you started writing a few days ago. You're writing it right now. So I challenge you all to find your great tasks. I challenge you to define what your great work will be. And remember to do great work, but also that it takes work to live greatly. I'm a Division III student athlete, and I know how powerful words can be. The term gay doesn't mean stupid, lame, or less than. So I pledge to speak up if I hear the term gay used in a derogatory way or any other homophobic term. If you can play, you can play in Division III. I'm a Division III student athlete, and my teammates unconditionally accepted me as part of their family. So now I pledge to do the same for others. If you can play, you can play in Division III. When you're in college, you kind of find out who you are. And throughout your four years, you develop yourself with all the different experiences, which leads into dedicating yourself to your community, to your family. So when you're a senior, you're coming out a well-rounded person. College has given me the flexibility to pursue my passions and my interests outside of the classroom and outside of the court or field. I've had the ability to get into different activities and organizations, and I've recreated my identity for myself aside from just being an athlete. Getting to be involved in a lot of different things, ranging from obviously being a student athlete to getting involved with my campus and my community, and not only being allowed to do that, but being encouraged to do that. The opportunity to be, to be able to study what I wanted to and continue to play the sport I love, to have the professors know me on a personal level, all of those things came together uh, very nicely in one package in Division Three. Being a part of the different activities and organizations that I've been a part of, I'm actually able to see myself where I'm like, hey, I actually can make a change. I'm one person that can make a difference. It really helps you develop thinking from other people's perspectives and looking at problems from outside the box. Division Three has helped me to develop teamwork skills, critical thinking skills, time management skills. I've definitely learned how to really be myself. I found out, yes, I am actually a good leader, and yes, I can actually put myself forward because I am good enough. I can do it.
coming in to college, I just wanted to get good grades and to do well. But I also made me realize that I have a lot of different career goals and I've learned so much about myself that I was always like growing and changing. When I got to college, it forced me to step up and become more of a leader. And I think that was something I had the capability of doing. And forever grateful that being at a Division III school gave me that opportunity. You have to dedicate your time in the classroom. You have to dedicate your time in the gym, on the field, on the court. Our coaches and all the entirety of the athletic department, they valued the student athlete going out to community and trying something new and getting involved in campus life. You can get involved in so many different things. Um, so the possibilities are truly limitless for what you can do with your college experience. You can kind of make it your own in the Division III setting. So I would encourage people who want to have flexibility to pursue different interests and passions to go D3.
Welcome back to Bream Gymnasium, ladies and gentlemen. We have a 10-point Centennial Conference men's basketball game. Bullets leading the Green Terror 43-33. This is Ryan Ahern alongside James Mullen. We'll give you some statistics from the first half. Both teams shooting incredible percentages. McDaniel 52.2% from the field. Bullets 57.7. 75% from deep for McDaniel. 70% from deep for the Bullets. Leading for the Bullets right now, Andrew Gardner, 15 points, 5 for 7 from the field, 3 for 3 from deep. James Mullen, what do you expect to see here? I mean, it was a really impressive first half for both teams. I thought Gaysburg played maybe their best half of the season so far. I think they're going to come back out with those fire with that fire. I think it could be a big second half for Nick Antolini. Looked like he was being really aggressive early on, kind of slowed down once Andrew Gardner really got hot. I'd watch for him. I think they're going to put a lot of attention on Gardner. Uh, and it could, be, could open things up for Antolini. And, you know, I think Antolini's just kind of letting the game come to him, not forcing anything. Seven points, five rebounds, four assists. And the ball poked loose there by Harper in transition. Goes up, lays it up. Not the start you want there if you're the Bullets. Daniel's going to play with a lot of pressure, it looks like, to start off. Zulata back in for the Bullets. Free throw line jumper, Antolini off left. Good shot. Just going to get the fall. Tavares starting the second half here. Came off the bench in the first. Corner, Washington. I like that matchup of Washington and Antolini. Two high-profile players. Long two. Can't knock down. Bouncing around. Tavares gets the rebound. Washington's going to reset up top. He's going to get a screen. Harper, Johnson. Johnson's going to drive. Turn around. Jumper off the back rim. Yeah, good good, good job of uh, creating separation between him and Zulada. Zulada getting his hand back in his face, though, for the jumper. Warren gives it back to Duffy. Warren hit a couple deep threes. He's got six points. Down low to Antolini, slapped by Washington. He stepped out. Yeah, Zulata fired it in there. Really good pass. Antolini just really, I don't think, expected to make it through. Went off his hands a little bit. Bullets will get the ball back, though, off of Washington. Inbound goes into Antolini, passing it around. Eight on the shot clock. Gardner has it, kicks it to the corner. Duffy pulls the three. Can't knock it down. Expect a little more right now out of Aaron Washington. Averaging 15.3. He's got six in the first half. Got some really impressive three-pointers to fall. Can tell the offensive firepower is there. Braden Caldwell, who was just dribbling the ball, is kind of leading things right now for McDaniel. It's perfect from the field, three for three. He has nine points. He did a good job moving within the offense. Got a couple wide open shots. Knocked them all down. Tavares pulls a three now. Knocks it down. Yeah, Starting to chip away at this lead. Yeah, we were watching him in warm-ups. I don't think we saw him miss a three. You can't leave him open like that. Daniel with the first five points of the second half. Gardner floater way off. Just a little bit of a force there. Bullets can't get impatient. It's a quick way to lose that lead. Kind of five out offense for McDaniel right now. Caldwell, long jumper, bouncing around, rebound goes to Zulata. His first miss of the day. Duffy's gonna push it, gives it to Zulata, down low, takes contact, he's gonna go to the line. Good rim run there by Zulata. Duffy will find them, send them to the line. Zulata's struggling from the free throw line this season, 7 for 22. Yeah, not a whole lot of trips. I mean, that's about one per game. Off on the first.
off on both. Rebound goes brought down by Caldwell. Lid on the rim right now for the Bullets. What yeah. once was a 15-point lead is now a five. Cut it almost. Washington off on that. Bullets are getting ready to bring the leading scorer, Avery Close, back in. Stays with the Bullets here. Close is going to check in for Zulata. Now I'd be interested to see a little bit of a, a mixed lineup with Zulata and Close both out there. Could let Close go to the perimeter where he can operate so well. Let Zulata fo focus on banging down low, getting some rebounds, playing good defense. Close wants to work. He's guarded by Tavares. He has the size advantage. Kicks it back out to Warren. Down low again to Close. Deep down low. Finishes. Good work there by Warren. I mean, right off the kick out, fakes the three, doesn't force up a three, takes one dribble, gets it back in the close, is able to get that easy layup to go. And we got a full timeout from the Bullets. We're kind of going to have another message from our sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, Gaysburg College is partnering with Stretch Internet again this season to provide live streaming video for all of its home basketball games. Thank you to thanks to the generous support of the Orange and Blue Club. All games are provided for free of charge in HD quality and can also be viewed from your mobile device. Please visit GettysburgSports.com for more information. McDaniel's been hot here in the second half early on. Kind of the, the start you really don't want if you're the Bullets. Zone once again. Washington pulls a three. Shoot him out of the zone. He hits it. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought they had been playing really good man all game. Not quite sure what the, the purpose of the 3-2 zone was there. but Nice move from Duffy. Gives it to Warren. Almost had a three. Good defense from Harper. He's long. Like to see Gardner or Antolini create on the possession. Close can do it too. Close floater, bouncing Man. around, rebound by Johnson. Strong defense from McDaniel. They're going to push it in transition. Stolen. Two on one now. Antolini goes up. Ooh, nice pass. Finishes Gardner. I thought Antolini, who's coming up hobbling, it looks like he's grabbing his. His calf muscle or something. He can't, but I thought he was going to force up the layup. Great little sneak behind the back pass there. He's still hurting. Yeah, he's rubbing for his quad right now. I think he might have gotten a dead leg there. Washington pulls another three off on it. Off Antolini stays with McDaniel. Yeah, just an unfortunate bounce there for the Bullets. Jack Rooney's going to check in for Danny Duffy. Bullets back in a man after Washington's three. Johnson crossing over, stolen almost, corner Caldwell, steps long two, and he hits it. Seems like anytime he's open, he's going to knock it down. Foot on the line on that one. Back-to-back -back possessions there. Bullets just getting fortunate bounces, really hurting them. Warren for three, hits it. Great, great little move there from Warren. Just kind of spins around, gets the jumper wide open. He's your textbook three-point specialist. Yeah, kind of the J.J. Redick here for the Bullets. Harper down low, Tavares almost loses it, corrals it. Turning around off the rim, Tavares gets it again. Working and knocks it down over Warren. 
McDaniel really making life tough here on the Bullets. Aggressive on both the offensive and defensive ends. Good screen. Rooney pushed out of bounds by Tavares. That's his second foul. I think the Bullets have kind of a skill advantage over McDaniel, but Daniel definitely has the athleticism advantage. Probably a little stronger, even though a little less height. Isaac Ray and Mike Wallace check in. Not to be confused with the very good NFL receiver. Antolini's looking around. Gives it to close. Handoff, losing the ball. Harper scrambling. Yep. Antolini stepped out of bounds as he picked it up. Yeah, Antolini just never got a full grasp on it. Kind of dove for the ball, but slipped out of bounds. Headed McDaniel's way. Tavares working on close. Thinking about backing him down. Spinning, travel. Sam Beverly checks in. Rooney crossing over. Down low. Baumberger, kind of an alley-oop type. Can't finish. Baumberger probably should have come down with it. It's impressive that he actually almost got to fall anyway, though. Washington, step back. Get space, hits it. Oh my God. Tell you what, he's going to try no matter what to get that shot up. Sometimes it looks like he's almost forcing it, but for him it might almost be good shots. That step back's nice. Gardner has been kind of the bullet's main weapon so far. Only a two point lead for him now. Baumberger, high layup, finishes, wanted, wanted a foul. Good cut there by Baumberger. Nice finish getting the high, high floater. Five points for him now in a couple few good minutes. Double screen, Wallace to Washington who pulls another three. Late foul, they say on the closeout, Antolini hit him. Yeah, I think Antolini even knows it. But you know, when Washington's getting all these crazy shots off here, you know, first instinct is to try and get as close and get a hand up in there. Antolini just got a little too eager there. His third foul though, something to watch. Despite Washington's great overall shooting percentage, struggling a little bit from the free throw line in two thirds of his shots. Knocks that one down. Good on the second free throw. Trying to convert the three point opportunity. All three at the line. Watch out, as he starts getting hot. Bullets are gonna have a, a scoring threat to deal with. I believe he has 15 now. Gardner cutting close is gonna give it. Floater loses it. McDaniel could take the lead in this possession. They give it to the leading scorer, Washington. <laughs> Every time he looks at the rim, I really think he's gonna shoot it. He wants to, he does right here. That one's long. Rebound by the shortest player in the court, Rooney. Maybe the quickest player out there too. Pass from Baumberger, almost out of bounds. Baumberger's gonna drive now. Nice pass to close. Great He's offense, fouled. great offense. Even the first pass by Baumberger, I didn't see it, but there was a dime to Antolini and they'll get the reversal. Bomberg is really starting to play well. Injured earlier in the season. Starting to get a lot of minutes for Coach Dunn. Impressed so far. Good on the first there, close.
Bullets extend the lead to three. Close game now. Just over 11 minutes to go in this contest. Bulls got to watch here. They got to get over every screen like Gardner does there, especially on Washington. Washington wants to work on the shorter Gardner. He has the baseline. Harper's going to pull a three. He hits it. Tie ball game. Starting to get ourselves a uh, good little action here at Brim Gymnasium. Looks like it could be a fun finish to this game. It's been mostly McDaniel in the second half, though, coming back from a 10 point halftime deficit. Down low to close on Washington. Goes up. Hook shot. Spinning. Oh. Count it. Little toilet boy roll. Toilet bowl roll. And a timeout. Bullets. We'll be right back. Bullets are up to 10.54 to go in this one. Good comeback from McDaniel. They were down 15 in the first. Wallace gives it to Ray for the lead. Gets it. Uh, you can tell he's knocked down. The first three, it was nothing by net. That one just goes in, kind of like Ray Allen used to hit him. Can't let him get open. Kind of their version of Alec Warren. Speaking of the devil, Alec Warren on the ball. Hand off to Gardner. Haven't heard anything from him here for a little while now. Driving. Foul on the floor. I think that's on Ray. That's his second. Duffy's going to check in now for Rooney. Garner gives it to Duffy. A lot of minutes right now from Danny Bobberger. I think they like his size on the perimeter. He's done a good job of attacking the rim. Nice pass to the corner. Duffy looking for something. Gives it to Gardner. He's going to drive three on the shot clock. Close has it. Misses. Bulls got to finish on some shots like those. They're going to want to prevail in this game. Yeah, Bulls need a good, strong defensive possession now. Interesting to see the shot selection here from McDaniel. They've done a good job moving the ball the fast few possessions. Nice take, but can't finish. Bullets in transition. Give it a Bomberger. Euro step. Stepped out of bounds. Travel, excuse me. And we're going to have a timeout by McDaniel now. We'll have a quick message from our sponsors. Orange and Blue Club supports all 24 Gaysburg College varsity sports. From equipment, uniforms, travel, and field and facility improvements, Orange and Blue's top priority is making sure our athletes and coaches have everything they need for success. Show your support and join the Orange and Blue Club. Please visit Orange and Blue on the web at gaysburgsports.com to make a gift or for more information.
Washington working again, turning, driving, hand check on Gardner as the ball rolls away to Narnia. That's Gardner's third. Rooney's going to check back in for the Bullets. Well, two-point guard lineup here. A little smaller lineup than we're used to for the Bullets. Foul on the inbound called on Duffy. Well, the few lineups, I think. McDaniel has some size, especially with Duffy and Rooney out there. Washington wide open for three, hits it. Can't let him get open. Lead. If he's going to hit the tough ones, you can't let him get the easy ones. That's his fifth three, shooting five for ten from deep. He's got 18 points overall. Duffy's going to drive, kicks it to Rooney, who pulls a three. Good defense from Ray, bouncing around. Harper's going to collect it. And the Bullets, who were up 15 at one point are now down four. Wallace gives it to Ray. Good Strong defense, defense there by Duff. Duff. Diving. That's, his, that's his type of game. Eight on the shot clock now. Down low, Beverly working on close. Trying for the up and under. Collects it. Travel before the foul. We had one foul call, one travel call. Conversation between the referees now. And this one might get reversed. They're going to stay uh, with the travel. Oh. Actually going to keep it. Kind of interesting. The baseline ref was the only one to not be in that conference who was the closest probably to the play. Now the baseline referee gets involved. They're going to say there's blood on Duffy. Uh, oh, he's pretty clawed up down there. They're going to try and use the 20 seconds they get for a sub, try and get it cleaned off before he has to come out. Ticking, talking on that. I don't think seconds. they're going to get it. Duffy still has blood on him. Gardner's going to check in for him. Trainer's working on Duffy, trying to clean that up. Is there a big first half for Gardner just... Two points so far in the second half off of the layup. McDaniel's really, you know, zeroed in on him. Speaking of McDaniel, nice cut there by Duffy. Fouls on Washington. Speaking of Washington, what I was about to say is he had six in the first, 12 now in the second. Yeah, five of ten from three. High volume, high efficiency. Perfect at the line as well. Duffy inbounds to Zelata. Warren pulls a three open and hits it. I just love the rhythm he plays with. Every time he gets a shot, it's all right in the same every time. He's four for six from deep. 12 overall. Harper, nice pass to Ray. Off his leg, Bullets ball. Well, he's trying to take this game back over. Rooney getting a screen. He's going to drive on Beverly. Kicks to Warren. Nice close out there by Harper. Yeah, they're having Rooney go baseline. Warren cut to the corner. I think they were trying to get another three for Warren. Won't be surprised if this is going back to Warren. It is. Good defense by Harper. Antolini thought about the long two. Tipped by Johnson. Stays with the Bullets. 
Bullets got to get someone going downhill, being creative, getting to the rim. That's going to be between Gardner and Antolini, especially with this lineup. Ten now on the shot clock. Gives it to Antolini, who pulls a three, hits it, takes the lead. At least showing off the range. Kind of a, a rough game for him so far. Just one of five from, or excuse me, two of six now from three. Antolini playing defense too, getting on the floor. Doing a little everything now. He has ten points, five rebounds, five assists, and that steal. Just over seven minutes left in the second half. And they give it to Antolini. He pulls another three. That one's long. Yeah, the hand right in his face. Beverly was right there. Washington thought about pulling it. He's going to drive. Nice step back. The oh, James, James Harden, Harden step yeah. back. And he oh. it. Should be having number 13 on his back. A little Luka Doncic maybe. McDaniel with the lead now after that big three. 21 points for Washington. See if Gardner can respond. Can't. Antolini will try to. Antolini, Ooh. short jumper. Kind of got Washington slipping there. Well, it's missing a couple inside close. Speaking of inside and close, it looks like Avery Close is about to check back in alongside Danny Duffy. Johnson with it. Guarded by Zulata, 10 on the shot clock. Picked up his dribble. Johnson pulls the three from the top. That one's long. Rebound rolling around. Antolini has it, kind of. Scramble, picked up by Johnson. Goes up, right hand foul, and one. Just kind of an unfortunate sequence there for, for the Bullets. Antolini just kind of was losing it all over the place. Good hustle there by McDaniel. Get back. And the McDaniel bench loves it. Looks like we have a couple, their lead. couple of McDaniel fans traveling in here today. Of course, not too far here from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Yep, Westminster, Maryland, about a half an hour down the road. Converts the end one, Johnson. Four-point lead now, 5.45 to go. I like the pressure McDaniel's putting on uh, the, the defenders off the ball, making the passing really tough. Gardner step back three, way long. Looked like that was Ooh, almost strong rebound, maybe Harper. Too. And Washington slowly going to dribble it up, looks at the game clock. Washington with it once again. He's hit some. Kind of circus threes with the hard and step the back. Clock. Nice pass down low to Tavares. Scramble once again. That's going to be a jump ball. We've lost the Jumbotron score clock. Yeah, missing the scoreboard. I'm not sure anyone on the court or the referees have noticed. They haven't. It looks like the benches are starting to notice. And now we'll get a little stoppage. And now with 501 to go. We're going to have a little bit of a shot clock issue. We'll have a quick message from our sponsors. Following Gettysburg College Athletics is now easier than ever. Bullets fans can keep up to date through Facebook by becoming a fan of the Gettysburg Athletics page. You can also follow the Bullets on Instagram at Gettysburg Athletics and on Twitter at Getty or Gberg Bullets. Other ways to stay connected include YouTube, RSS feeds, and email alerts. Please visit GettysburgSports.com for more information. We have the clock back now. Teams get a little extra time out to talk things over. When they come out of this break, it's going to be 5.01 to go in the game. Bullets down four, five on the shot clock. Harper's going to be doing the inbounding. I expect to see it go to Washington. It does. 
He's going to work on Gardner. Fade away three, excuse me, two. I mean, that's just, you can't guard that. Gardner has a little bit of a size disadvantage. Washington just steps back, rises up. He's cooking right now. Gardner looking around, gives to Warren. Almost stolen by Tavares. And off of Warren, McDaniels getting everything right now. Six-point yeah. lead and the ball. With the pressure McDaniels putting on the bullets right now, you can't be firing these long all the way across the court passes. They're going to get in the passing lanes. McDaniel really starting to open up a lead, up to six points now. Their largest lead of the game. What a swing, 21 points. The Bullets were up 15 with 122 to go in the first. And Duffy, kind of the, one of the leaders on this team, makes the steal when it's most needed. Good Ant ball movement, Antolini. Antolini down low to close. Good offense. Yeah, best offensive position in a while. Everyone touched the ball there. Close as 18. Taking the scoring lead now from Gardner. Wallace looking around. Johnson cutting, keeping his pivot. I don't know how he kept his pivot foot there, but I think he managed to. Good defense by Antolini to not give the handoff to Washington. Johnson working five on the shot clock. Tavares for three again. Like we said, we didn't see him missing warm-ups. You can't let him get open. Could be a killer right now for the Bullets. Just under four minutes to play. Seven-point lead for the Green Terror. Yeah, and they're still shooting above 70% from deep. Good D almost. But you like that hustle right there from Harper. Yeah, he's trying to make a play. I have no problem with that foul there. However, this will send close to the line, I believe. Unless the scoreboard's already been updated. That will be the six. So next time they will be in the one-on-one, -on -one unless on an offensive foul. Stacked up the bullets, give it in to close. Warren thought about a three. Gives it off. Antolini now getting the screen. Thought about it once again. Warren for three, deep, spinning out. Bullets need a stop. Yeah, at this point it's going to be, going to have to get a score and stop almost on every possession. Just about three minutes left. Was well, maybe letting this one slip away. Ten on the shot clock for the Green Terror. They want to give it to Washington. They do. Seven He's now. He's gonna go for the hero shot. He's maybe. gonna drive in. Nice move and can't get the roll. Great attack. Yelling to get back. Corner three. Antolini pulls it, hits it. Great, great shot there by Antolini. He knows how big that shot is for this game. We're going to get a timeout, four-point game, 2.46 to go. We'll be right back. D.J. Harper inbounding there, getting the roll, Mike Wallace. McDaniel with a four-point lead, 2.40 to go in the game. Wallace tried to give it to Wa oh, missed Johnson. the roller there. Gives it to Washington. Johnson now. 
Both teams slowed down a little bit from the early on. Physically, still scoring. Tavares working on Gardner. Spinning, floater, can't hit it. Rebound, Gardner. Well, big shot there from Tavares. Gives the bullets a little, a little help here. Still alive, four-point game. Just over two minutes left. They've been slow here in the second half, though. They want to get it to Warren, but Duffy will take it himself. Fight for his own. Love that rebound. Long three. Antolini Let's hits go. it. One point game. Antolini from deep again. I told you. Watch out for him this half. He's finishing this game strong. Tight defense. Washington driving. He's going to take a shot. Can't finish. Fighting for the rebound is Harper. Bullets have the ball now. Antolini might wait, gives it to Warren in the corner. Antolini. Duffy to Close. Foul. Great rim run by Close. Good ball movement there. Close has 18 today. Leading scorer for the Bullets. Bang, that one, tie ball game with 123. Off on the second one, it's going to stay tied. Mike Wallace looks to his coach. Watch. McDaniel timeout, a little bit of a scramble as the ref has a late whistle. Yeah. They're going to have a conversation. We'll be right back. Tie ball game, 71-71, 116 to go. Mike Wallace has it. He's going to be guarded by Duffy. Aaron Washington, the story of the game, 23 points. I like that double off the screen. Tavares has a mess, mismatch on Gardner. Eight They're going to go to it. Now. Tavares working on Gardner, double team. Up top, Johnson, he's going to drive. One on the shot clock. Fouled and one once what a, again. What a take there by Johnson. Strong the rim. Gets the end one. He's, he's finishing this game out very strong too. He had one of those end ones about a minute ago. He's got his second one. Gives his team the lead. Johnson converts his second and one. Big points from him. Under a minute to go in this one. Duffy with the ball. Bullets down three. If you're going, if the bullets right now, you're just getting whatever shot you can. Don't force the three. Close. That's what you probably want. Turning around, finishing. That's good offense game. there. Good smart Time play. Out Gettysburg.
James, Bullets down one now, 39.2 to go. How are you defending this possession? You know, no threes. You know, you don't want to go up four. I mean, there's a lot of time. I think I'm going to let this possession play out, though. No fouls. They have a foul to give. Anyone who's going to go wide open layup, make sure it's on the floor if you're going to use the foul. Uh, maybe if they if they get the ball in the hands of, you know, one of their poor free throw shooters, maybe then you're fouling out away from the rim. But I'm trying to, you know, get a stop here, use the last nine seconds to your advantage, get a shot, probably try and get it up to Warren, you know, Gardner or, or uh, Antolini if it's a three-point game. If not, I'm getting the ball in the hands of Antolini, trying to get him to go the distance. Very even game. Both teams shooting 26, 26 for 50 from the field, 52%. Yeah, just... I mean, look at the threes, though, for McDaniel. 14 of 20. That's ridiculous. Absolutely incredible. 70% from three on 20 attempts. Of course, you look over at Gettysburg, shooting 12 of 20 from three. That's 60%. I mean, that's, just, that's, that's something you never see in a game. Tavares with the ball now, guarded once again by Gardner. I assume they're going to try to give the ball late in the shot clock here to Washington. Yeah, if you're McDaniel right now, you want to get this down. He, One he, shot. He takes the handoff. Five on the shot clock now. Watch the pull-up. Watch the pull-up. Good double team. Pulls a deep three, and the Bulls have the ball now. Down one, 8.4 to go. What a great defensive possession there for the Bulls. That's what you need. McDaniel is just kind of lost. We're going to see the pressure here for McDaniel. McD And they're going to add a little bit onto the shot clock, nine, or excuse me, the game clock, 9.2 now. Coach Curley upset with that decision. Referee's not sure talking what, about it. Yeah, not sure what he's arguing about here. I don't know if he wanted a foul. Quick, first thought, who's taking the last shot for the bullets? Yeah, I would have to think Antolini are close. They've been the two hot hands this this second half, you know, Gardner really hasn't got a lot of shots up. He has a, a high scoring total at 17, but I think he's only taken two or three shots in the second half. I'm trying to get this ball in Antolini's he's in hands as soon as possible. He's standing down in the opposite corner. I'd almost have him bring this ball up, trying to attack downhill. But I think they're going to have something drawn up, maybe with Warren coming off of the inbounds. Won't be surprised if you're going to see maybe Gardner here set the screen for. Warren coming out of bounds. And he's not going to clear out. Duffy now. Seven to go. Let's see what magic Gettysburg has tonight. Duffy gives it to Close. Going up. Left hand. Let's go. Pass. One point College. Chucking Washington off the scoreboard. Game over. 75-74. They rush the court. Big time win here for Gettysburg. Looked like they were down and out of it. Climbed back in. Avery Close giving the little, little pat down there. Nice strong move to the rim. And I think this entire game came down to that last defensive possession. Great defense drawn up by Coach Dunn and great execution by those players. Yeah, I mean, I was just impressed all game. This is the best full game I've seen the Bullets play all season. You know, McDaniel didn't have a great record, but they came in, fought hard. They made them play. I mean, what a, a great game from, from Washington. Uh, our player of the game, well, it looks like we're going to go with Avery Close. 10 of 15 from the field, 23 points, 4 rebounds, and of course, the big time game winning shot. You're going to see here making them some moves. You know, great finishing all game. You know, with that buzzer beater, kind of a similar play. I was just impressed by him all day. Didn't start today's game, came in early though, fought all game, was inside, kind of a force, had the height advantage on McDaniel all day. And you're going to see here, there's that buzzer beater. Gaysburg crowd going crazy, especially the bench. What a great game today in Bream Gymnasium. Just overall a great showing from both teams. Bullets coming out on top. Kind of one of those last one to have the ball situations. Avery Close, incredible game, 23 points, 10 for 15 shooting. He's followed by Andrew Gardner with 17, Nick Antolini with 16. McDaniel didn't go down without a fight. Aaron Washington had 23 points. He was 6 for 11 from deep. They had five guys in double figures. The Bullets had four. Both of these teams are in action on Saturday. They both have home games. Bullets at 3 o'clock against Washington College. 
McDaniel at 3.30, excuse me, 3 against Haverford. Gettysburg improves to 5-17 and 17 overall, 4-11 and 11 in conference. Yeah, one last thing. It's going to be senior night this Saturday for both Bullets teams. I hope all of our listeners try and make the trip out here to Gettysburg to recognize some of the great seniors we have here on both the women's and men's teams. But once again, great game, 75-74 Gettysburg victory. On behalf of everyone here at Gettysburg College, this is Ryan Ahern alongside James Mullen signing off.